Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show. I am very happy to have Teresa Ulrich here, and she is with Chi Chocolates. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so happy. This uh, came to me, uh, it seems so, uh, uh, how should we say it? Um, just, it just flowed into my life. Cheat mm. chocolates. Mm -hmm. I was over uh, at the drum circle with uh, the, the fun folks over at the uh, summer solstice flute festival. Mm -hmm. This was over at, uh, right over at the homestead. And I get to try your chocolate. I'm so thrilled you're here. Oh, it's so good. You. Thank you. I, I cannot believe uh, the, the different flavors that we have here. So give us a little bit of background, first of all, on Chi Chocolates. Chi Chocolate is based in Portland, Oregon, but I come to the Flute Festival and mm -hmm. sell chocolates while I learn more about the flute. Yeah? And, uh, it's a good way to get uh, some help. You probably do some trade. Yes, I did get trade on a, <laughs> I was on a flute. <laughs> Discount on a new flute. Uh, with these chocolates, I, I, I put a lot of love into it and a lot of extra energy into it, and I choose the right chocolate that's really heart opening. Right. And um, which goes with flute playing. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I like to deal chocolate so people can boost their creativity and feel good. Well, yeah. it definitely works. Your chocolate a little different than the typical. Yes. Because the flavors are, are something that most people wouldn't have thought of. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. Well, lately uh, I've been dealing with a sugar-free chocolate, mm -hmm. and sugar-free meaning I use more sh natural sugar substitutes, coconut nectar, stevia, and monk fruit okay. as part of my new line, um, like my coconut lemongrass, just finding the right balance of these natural sugars that do taste close to cane sugar. Right, mm -hmm. and I gotta say, the favorite of mine is the lemongrass. That is yeah. an amazing flavor. And that took me a year to, to to a complete, um, I, I work towards perfection, you know, until I'm happy, and sometimes I take a year, like my salted caramel, that's um, sweetened with cane sugar, so I do more traditional chocolates, but I use a Caribbean chocolate blend coating, and it's a single origin, and a really dark caramel, caramel. that took a year also yeah. to get the caramel perfected, nice and soft, topped with floor to cell. Soft is an understatement. This is the caramel that's like more of almost a syrup, it felt like, it yeah. just melted. Mm -hmm. It's in a my texture. Mouth. Texture yeah. is very important to me when you wow. get the crispy shell, you get the creamy filling, and it's a textural experience along with the flavors that makes the hair on the back of your neck just ooh. right. And that's what it does. <laughs> Hand tempered, I'm guessing too. Mm -hmm. Which is a, if you know, we've talked about this in the show a lot. If you know anything about chocolate, you know that tempering is probably the most difficult part. <laughs> yes. It really, uh, chocolate is temperamental, and if you don't temper it properly. It, you, you get that kind that you make at home where it's just all over in your it hands. It turns a white, mass, it melts, right? you know, it's too crystallized. Yeah. So I also teach chocolate classes, tempering classes, ganache classes, and decoration classes in Portland. Wow. Um, and I ship all these chocolates um, throughout the U.S. and make also cacao tincture. Yeah, where do you uh, source your cacao? Um, I source my cacao. It's Ecuador, Caribbean, um, Tanzanian. Okay. Um, also, what else do I use? Uh, I like the Ecuador a lot. Yeah, I do yeah, too. I do it seems too. like that is yeah. a really good um, earthy this taste to it. Madagascar has yeah. natural notes of cherries we and raspberries. Talk about this. I infuse roasted cacao nibs from Madagascar in vodka for three months, and then I also charge it with rose quartz crystals, which right. amplifies the vibration of cacao, which is very heart opening. It's a very loving, it's like love in a bottle. Wow. So, the, again, how long is this? Process? Three, three months. Three months. S yeah, steeped in vodka, which I shake, you know, once a week, shake it around. Really? You know, and it's in there with the crystals the whole time. And wow. this I carry, you know, you can carry it in your purse and it's uplifting and then it goes into your body and it opens your heart and it's just not, not really nice for the afternoon. After lunch, instead yeah. of coffee, go well, for that. this, <laughs> yeah. it gets you a long ways, that's for sure. Oh, man. I, I, gotta, I gotta be honest, it just it blows my mind, these ideas of yours. Mm -hmm. I, I've gotta talk about, talk about this one. This is probably my second favorite, maybe. Oh, and I'm, yes. gonna, I'm gonna ask about it. So what is this chocolate That's here? That's the Honey Blossom. The Honey Blossom. So this has some flower in it. It has some orange, it's, uh, what is it? Orange Blossom right. water in there with some wildflower honey. A really, really buttery white mm -hmm. chocolate. Very creamy. It's white not chocolate's not easy either. People get this one wrong all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of bad white chocolate out mm -hmm. there, and I'm trying to bring back the good white chocolate. I know I sourced yeah, that white bark chocolate. Bark is not chocolate, <laughs> folks, right? That's that one I source, uh, you know, it's already made, and I, I melt it. It's from France. It's a Valrona white chocolate. 
and wow. they have a whole line of white chocolates that you know they're trying to bring it back so and open up people's palates to like this isn't the white chocolate you had when you were a kid right it's really this is try just try it give it a try yeah it's not the kind you put give on mine your a try. it's not the kind you put on your pretzels uh uh yeah. oh no not like that <laughs> uh -uh. yeah think completely differently this is every bit as much uh, the connoisseur style mm -hmm. as uh, any of the other chocolates now some of your other flavors let's talk about some of the others that you have mm -hmm. here what else do we have uh, this is so the down here in the bottom. Uh, honey almond rolled honey truffle. Almond. Okay. So that's just honey and raw almond right. butter. I roll that in raw cacao powder. Okay. That's also Ecuadorian, and Ecuadorian filling. That's the noir. It's a naturally sweetened um, with the cane sugar. Okay. And that's a nice dark chocolate blend. It's one that everybody loves. They like to go to the white chocolate. Saw dark the caramel, chocolate. of course, up here. Mm -hmm. Right. And this is the cashew. Ooh. That's uh, coconut nectar and raw cashew butter. And this is the goji berry, so I, I like to add some superfood to the chocolates also to give you kind of a good body hum and, and energy. Maybe the very best one ever. The coconut lemongrass. A year to perfect this. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna invite Brittany Copeland up here to test some of these with me. I just, I'm not gonna let her eat the lemongrass though. Okay. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> but I can't wait for her to try it. <laughs> yeah, I know, right, it's chocolate. Up. Come on back up for that. Tough job I got. So do you wanna, you can't pick that one. No, but you not can, anything else is this yours. This one's almost too pretty to eat. No, it really is so tasty. But you should try it. it's not that pretty to eat. Right? You're going to have to do it. So if people want to get your chocolate, mm -hmm. uh, and you know, you're thinking, oh, I have to go to Portland. You don't have to. No. Where, how do we get your Chi chocolate? You can go to chichocolate.com and um, order through me. You'll have my email up there. Email me. Give me a call mm. and tell me what you would like. I also make drinking chocolate. Really? Mm-hmm. Hot Drinking chocolate? Cho it's like a hot chocolate, yes. But, but it's also co coconut, so also coconut sugar, some natural spices, and oh, um, Ecuadorian chocolate, and Guatemala, actually Guatemalan chocolate, and Peruvian chocolate that I grind down myself from the bean. I roast it, grind it down, and it's also, I, I picked this specific, you know, cacao bean that's, again, heart opening. It doesn't make you really jumpy. It has low, it's called low theobromine. It's very low in caffeine, but it's maybe high in theobromine. I find the cacao low in theobromine. Okay. So it keeps you calm. And then more heart opening. So it has more of a, a bliss molecule called an anandamide. And that's what makes you feel like you're falling in love. Oh, uh, yeah. There <laughs> yeah, is something about that. that. There Your is, own version of love potion. Right? Mm -hmm. Chocolate will do that for you for sure. <laughs> I suggest, fellas, if you're going, if you got an important date, mm -hmm. yeah, a little <laughs> chocolate never hurt anyone. It's probably right. going to help out a whole lot. Mm -hmm. All right, I want to thank you so very much for being here. Mm -hmm. Thanks for thank coming. You. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, and thanks for sharing your love. Mm -hmm. uh, as we talked about earlier about putting love into food, there is no doubt there's a little love in this chocolate. You and as she it. said, it might get you a little love too. We have mm -hmm. a lot more coming up here on the Mountain Morning Show. We'll be right back.